Hey guys, I'm Cooper Wilt. Uh, today we're at the Gardena Skate Plaza and uh, going to work on fakey bigger flips. Uh, this trick is a little more advanced, kind of a trick. Um, you kind of you put a few different tricks together, so it <laughs> takes a little while to get it, but uh, it's a good crowd pleaser trick. Super good trick for a game of skate. You know, usually people aren't expecting it. And uh, it's fun because you just pop it and flip and just like flip it as hard as you can and hope everything works out because it's a lot of flipping going on. <laughs> uh, all right, so for this trick, you kind of have to have a few different tricks dialed. You definitely fakey flips, full cabs. And uh, if you can do fakey big flips, it's really just a variation on a fakey big spin flip. You just do that plus an extra 180 in the end. All right, so um, for me, I, I approach the trick usually at about a medium speed, but depends depends where you're trying it. You can go fast, you can go slow. Definitely have to be rolling a little bit in the switch position or fakie position. Uh, for me, I, my feet are positioned like this. This foot back here, pretty much. This foot all the way, pretty pretty much toward the top. So approach the as you approach the trick, come up. A big part of it is that uh, winding the top of your body up. You seriously got to get a good wind up. And then roll back, fakey, fakey pop. And at the same time, your body's just starting to, starting to really twist. And that's what makes the board flip all the way. And like that. After your body spin, as, as your body spins into it, you fakey pop. You obviously want to try and get a good pop. Actually, for this trick, it doesn't matter that much, though. Like, a lot of times I don't pop that much. It's more about just getting the, the whip, you know, whipping your board. Figgy pop, start whipping. Your body's spinning around. Keep your eyes down, and you'll see it coming to your feet. A lot of times the board spins about 360, and you're, you're about to come down to the ground. And then at that point, you just got to do a little power slide to try and save it. <laughs> Obviously, the, be the better way to do it is to try and spin the whole way in the air, but a lot of times, you know, you're going to catch it and you're going to do a little power slide to even it out and get the whole way around. Two really good things to have for this trick. Uh, you definitely want to have smooth ground because, like I was saying, you're going to have a little power sliding going on. So this is perfect ground right here. And um, you definitely just got to definitely work on the wind-up. That's pretty much the key part of the trick. Wind up your shoulders and then as you fake you pop, whip all the way around and uh, before you know it it's under your feet and you're rolling away all right so uh, I hope you have some good luck getting out there and trying this trick learn some different variations on it or take it to some stairs or a gap or something and uh, hopefully you skunk your your buddies in the game of skate when you bring this one out that's what I always try and do all right enjoy it man At 12 years old, when I was first diagnosed, I didn't know, you know, what cancer really was and did. Uh, you want to have a square stance. You want to keep your eye on the coping. 